Namaste everyone, my name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and today I want to talk about the changing energies and how that's affecting people um, and especially in relationships. Now what many of you probably don't know but you're about to know is that Michelle Walling and I are no longer a couple. Uh, we broke up officially um, a couple days ago and uh, what we're going through I've noticed a lot on Facebook as well. I've, I've seen a lot of people going through relationship issues so it's not an uncommon thing that people are going through right now and it does have a lot to do with these um, changing uh, waves of energy. You know some of these waves are transformational. I would say probably just about all of them are but you know some of these are also going to be turbulent and what's going to happen is you're going to see stuff popping up surfacing um, perhaps from our shadow selves or just issues that um, generational issues that are coming up from our past uh, that we really had no idea about but um, they're surfacing right now and uh, so I think the most important thing right now is to understand why these energies are happening and what we can do about them you know and why they're happening is, as I mentioned, there's some different things that are happening. Uh, gen like they could be generational issues, they could be shadow self issues, uh, but they're happening for a reason. And know that um, in the end, it's going to be beneficial. But in the meantime, it can be it can be pretty tough. Uh, the the most important thing is to forgive them as well as yourself. Send them love send that intention out that they find love that they find happiness because everyone deserves that including you including myself um, and then also forgive yourself and send yourself some love as well now there's things that you can do to uh, make the transition a little bit easier and the first thing I would recommend is finding your passion whatever that passion is reconnect to that passion for myself I like going to the beach I like taking walks on the beach I like grounding on the quartz crystal sands here on Siesta Key and uh, I do my uh, walk of gratitude every time I go there I do a love bubble meditation I just put an article out about the love bubble meditation I'll put a link below so you can check that out also when you're at the beach when the waves crash they release negative ions that's what's make what, what makes you feel good when you're at the beach those those negative ions so go there and enjoy absorb ground you know and it doesn't have to be the beach it can be anywhere in nature just get outside and go and do it and and make that connection it could be the woods it could be a waterfall a lake anywhere that makes you feel good I also like playing guitar that's one of my passions um, I used to play lead and rhythm guitar in several hard rock bands in the 80s and uh, it was fun a great bunch of guys I've, I've met throughout the years um, fellow band members and uh, I love playing guitar so you know I, as a matter of fact I just bought a, a new guitar it's a Fender sustainer I'm sorry a, a Fernandez sustainer guitar and it's really cool so I've been having a lot of fun with that getting lost in music writing my own music and uh, just having fun with that and speaking of music just get involved play some music that makes you feel good you know it's it all boils down to the vibration of how you feel when you're listening to that music uh, we just got actually got back from a uh, monsters of rock cruise and there was a lot of amazing bands that were there I'll just play a couple clips uh, from that cruise and I'll, I'll see you on the other side.
So listening to those bands made me feel good. I, I really enjoyed the music that was there. Got to talk to several band members on the cruise, on the boat, and that was really cool to, uh, you know, just to make that connection with them. Meditate. Um, that's another thing I enjoy doing. You know, that's one of my passions. Um, there's an app that you can get on your cell phone. It's called Insight. And uh, it shows you who's meditating with you after you get done doing your meditation. How many people have meditated with you, not only in your area, but overall, too. So, And there's all sorts of guided meditations on there, like um, there's several on there if you're having trouble sleeping at night. There's guided meditations to help you go to sleep. So it's pretty cool. I recommend that. But just meditating you know, and connecting with your higher self and uh, all that that is beyond. Highly recommend that. Um, the last thing that I'm doing personally is I uh, made a 90-day commitment with a fitness trainer. He was a professional bodybuilder and uh, after the cruise, I weighed myself beforehand and then afterwards I gained 6.2 pounds and uh, there goes my phone. <laughs> but I gained 6.2 pounds and uh, it was probably from the salt intake and uh, all the crappy processed food that you have on the ship. So uh, what I ended up doing was changing my diet once I got back and uh, I'm go hopefully going to move whatever was put on in my stomach up to the chest and arms <laughs> and elsewhere. But, uh, you yeah, that's my that's my goal. And I'm doing that for me. You know, it's changing my diet to a healthy diet and uh, working on getting my body in good shape. So, you know, I know there's a lot of people that are going through uh, relationship issues right now. And it's not easy. And I'm with you right now. And my heart goes out to you because... I'm in the same boat with you. And it's not easy, but understand, no matter how tough or bad the breakup was, send them love. Send them forgiveness. Because everyone deserves that. Um, you know, the Rosicrucians have a saying, you know, your goal in life is not to be happy. Happiness is an emotion. Your goal in life to it should be should be to experience as much as you possibly can, and within those experiences, you'll find happiness. You'll also find love too, I'm sure. You know, so don't fixate yourself. <laughs> don't try to jump into another relationship and you know just because one ended. Fall back in love with yourself first. Love doing what you enjoy doing. And in time, that person will come along that loves doing what you do too. So that's that's the key, you know. Find that time to be alone. Embrace being alone. Embrace being by yourself. You don't have to have a person next to you at all times. I see so many people going from one relationship to another to another without really finding out who they are. But they have that need to be with someone. Have that need to be with yourself first. Love yourself. Respect yourself. And then go through your all your passions. And within all those passions, you'll probably find that person that's just like you that is vibrating on the same uh, wavelength that you are. So I hope that helps some people. And uh, n please know that you're not alone. Remember to forgive them and yourselves. And we'll all get through this. It's an exciting ride ahead coming up. Uh, you know, and as far as the conferences are going, we have several in, in 5D conferences that are coming up. Nothing's changed on that. I'm going to be speaking with Michelle in Austin, Texas, and I look forward to meeting all of you there. And it's going to be a great conference. Uh, so, and uh, there's another conference afterwards in May in London at, that Michelle will be going to. So I highly recommend you checking that out as well. Nothing's changed on those lines. Um, but what I'm seeing, though, there are these amazing waves of energy that are coming through. Learn to ride the waves and be positive because, you know, they, through the turbulence, you're going to find happiness. You have to seek it out, really. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's all around you. I mean, Sonia Chiquette says that if you're feeling down, look outside. What do you see? You see a lot of green, a lot of trees, grass. Everything around you is green. 
that's the heart chakra and that's love so just go outside and ground and, and feel that goodness that's out there in nature you know ultimately uh, these waves are going to transform all of us and a lot of people are saying that by the end of 2017 there's some big changes coming you know I know that Michelle and I were doing some dowsing questions on these waves and there's two major waves that are going to be coming through uh, this year so be prepared you know good things are really really um, on the way and uh, I, I can only hope that whatever issues you may be going through in relationships that you find that forgiveness and learn to ride the waves of transformation that are coming in because it's going to blow your mind in a very very great way that's it for now this is Greg from n5d.com